yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall YouTube channel. All right, guys, so we just had a very mysterious package show up at the shop, but before I even walk out there, I just want to tell you guys Happy Thanksgiving and that I'm so thankful for you guys and all you guys do for us watching our videos and just always being there for us, no matter if the car is freaking blow up or we lose or we win or everything. You guys have been so freaking amazing to us all year long and forever since this channel was born. I'm so happy with how everything is going, you know. We have such a good vibe going right now with James and Cooper and I feel like we're like the redneck version of Top Gear, which is like my dream show growing up. We got the voice of reason, Cooper. We got the mechanic, James. We got the freaking destroyer, Cletus. And it's been so fun and you guys, I'm just so thankful for you all. New things is coming. We got new stuff on the website. If you wanna see my first ever cooking with Cletus episode, you gotta go watch the video. It's pretty hilarious. We got Holly's new turbo cookie cutter product out. We're testing that. But uh, we've got a bunch of holiday stuff on the website going to like some bundles with shirts and cookie cutters. You can get stuff for your girlfriend or you, or whatever. Check that out, but let's go out in the shop and have some fun today. But uh, whew, man, it's gonna be a fun freaking winter season. Holly, Holly, how are you doing today? Hey, excited. come say hi to the camera. Why are you being shy? She, she has something in her mouth. That's oh, why. she's got? I think so. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> Dude, she loves these things. <laughs> oh, oh sure. buddy, you'll sit. Okay, you have a good day, Holly. Well, what do we have here? Why don't we, we have a box from LMR? Yeah, that came the other day. Jeremy, I think he's. Hey, you're good. <laughs> you're good. All right, so any guesses? I, I have no idea. This is definitely the strangest. Hopefully, it's another Jeremy. I think it's gonna. Hold be... on, Jeremy, stand next to this. I think it's gonna be one of those. It could be. That could be a new. Tuner. It's like a little game, cupid game bad posture. Oh, good fit. Dude. So guys, this just came to the shop. It's packaged very oddly. Literally two boxes says very fragile. Dude, what is this? Oh, we're opening it Looks down. like a seat. Just yank it out the top. Yeah, dude, you're gonna make a huge mess of, of... Yeah. just pick this up ahead of it. <laughs> what is this? James doesn't normally pull out, so this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> Bad luck. Oh, do you think that's really what it yeah, is? It is. Cool this is a life bar. Dude, I'm gonna get in so much trouble with this thing. Oh wow, it's even got the mounts and everything. Yeah. Hold on, there's gotta be some in. All right, let me, let me clear this for your transmission. Nobody wants to talk about your train. No, I don't even want to talk about my train. I just want to get it in the truck. Wait, do, do people know about your tranny? Yeah. Okay, so where'd you get your tranny? Cause you were gone for a while and you came back really sweaty. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's a two-hander. She's a big one. Okay. Are you gonna be able to navigate these peanuts, lads? Man, that thing's really bogging. You got that thing in four low? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Is that a, what is that? It's like for it's a bumper bag. Bumper, yeah, like a rear bumper. What? And there's some more stuff. Oh, Oreo an jacket. Oreo jacket. That's sick. And Ritz. A Dale Earnhardt Oreo jacket? Damn, if you guys didn't know, the Oreo car is like my second favorite NASCAR. If I could get the Oreo car, that would be something special. Oh, I found more things. Damn, this, where did this guy get all these peanuts? That's what I want to know. Oh, what? So you just wire in some switches and it, that thing controls the modes? Well, that's pretty simple. Oh, look, it has like a... Oh. oh, dude, this guy set us up. All right, we have found an envelope within the packaging. It says, do it for Ed. Gonna be doing an install vid on my channel soon. Oh, perfect. It's gonna supply us with an install video. Perfect. All right, this guy says, can you say James get the toolbox? James get the toolbox, we're gonna need this. Hey Cletus, I have enclosed some items that I think are due to be added to a certain vehicle in your fleet of freedom fighting carpool of cars and something to protect the crispy back bumper in case the pig caprice LS powered police car is badgering you soon. Oh, and something to keep your temps warm while cruising in the Dale truck until the headers get warm. Keep doing it for Ed and doing it for Dale and all the kids at the JMS Burn Center. Skeeter McSwagger. It's the shot. All right. Well, God dang, we got ourselves an Oreo jacket, a light bar that we're gonna have to figure out how to use, but he said he's doing an install video. 
and we got a lot of packing peanuts for the shop. I like how it's not at least like a brand new LED one. It's gotta look trashy. <laughs> Just trashy enough for neighbor. Ah, yes. <laughs> it's nice that they gave us the Crown Vic mounts and everything. Look at how good that fits. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, now we can really get ourselves in some trouble. Drop a comment below, let us know if we will get arrested or not. I'm sure there's a, an officer out there who watches the show. Please let us know. So just so you guys know, the engine for Neighbor will be here at the end of the week and we will get this thing back together. I also got some manifolds for it. We'll see if they fit. Cause it's pretty tight with these narrow frame rails. Do I have to record? Yes, please record this. Uh, well, You're recording? Uh, check. Dangerous stunt for the video. Oh, Whoa. wow. Bill <laughs> lost the painting. <laughs> I think he's been practicing. Molly, come here. Get up here. Uh, you look like the Grinch with these fluffy paws. We need to cut these bad boys. Hey, dog. All right, guys. The gist of today's video is we are opening up this giant box. Well, wing this knife around. This is a Frankenstein intake, just like the one on Leroy's. It's a different model. You guys are going to see it in a minute, but it's 100% billet, 100% made in the USA by our lovely friends at Frankenstein Engine Dynamics, and this intake is for the C7. So we're actually kind of reopening the C7 build. You know, we wanted to make some power, and uh, the thing's been untouched for so long, and Frankenstein came out with this LT Low Pro intake, and it's so sick, and it fits under the hood of a C7, so... We are going to uh, unbox this bad boy today, along with this pile of fan mail. Wow. We've been a little bit delayed on the fan mail, so we feel bad and want to run through it today, so stick around, grab yourself a Bartle Skeet, we got some freaking freedom to open up. I feel the hell would all cut myself today. I mean, they really package the hell out of this <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I'm more worried about myself on this one. Everyone knows how freaking awesome all of our Frankenstein stuff has been. You see like the head porting on Neighbor, the freaking, obviously the intake on Leroy has been pretty insane. We're doing a pretty sick intake here, guys. I think James is getting a little excited over there. He hasn't gotten to hit the C7 on Nitrous yet, so. No. Yeah, you won't let me. <laughs> you stay away from that C7, yeah, James. It's the methyl, you know, I tried to turn it on, and he said, no, it's okay. <laughs> Filled up the bottles and everything. Get your white gloves, everybody. Oh! <laughs> so pretty. Wow. I told him to make the God Bless America nice and big, too. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, this is way lighter. <laughs> Easily less than half. Oh, they forgot your injector bungs. <laughs> Send it back. Oh, no! Our injector bungs are closed. JK, guys, we got direct injection on the LT motor. But that's nice, because if I go port injection yeah. or big power, Send back there. we just, just drill it out. James get a one of the three quarter drill bit. And... <laughs> this is how you open it too. Oh. Stick your arm all the way in the throttle body. Damn, dude. So freaking sick. So just like on Leroy, it's got the blast port there. So if you have a big intake backfire, those are bad news. And this will blow out instead of the something else having to give. Danger to manifold. My God, look in oh. there. Oh yeah. Woo! So this will actually fit under the stock C7 hood. Pick it up, feel how light she is. Right, oh, it's yeah. kind of surprising because yeah. we're used to the big dog on Leroy with the intercooler sandwiched. The two, three person job. Yeah. Dude, that thing is unreal. It's crazy, look at the attention to detail. Look at the, yeah. bolt, the bolts changed to fit with the low pro. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. So we'll actually be installing this on the C7 probably after the PRI show because we're going to the PRI show with Leroy. We're gonna be busy with that. We get his transmission this week. So we gotta deal with him. We gotta deal with Cooper's car and the Crown Vic. So this beautiful Frankenstein low pro intake is gonna have to hang tight and then we'll put it on the C7 very soon. We're gonna bag it back up just for the sake of insert arm. Yep. That's pretty convenient. Yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> wow. How crazy is that that we don't have like fuel rails or anything for it? Because yeah. remember last time we were like open the fuel rails and the whole night? Yeah. There's no fuel rails because it's 
<laughs> They're already down low on the head. What a cut. <laughs> Quit talking smack, guys. You know I'm the best box opener in the shop. The Southeast region. <laughs> Why do you give me such a dangerous knife like a box cutter? <laughs> I don't think like, we can Think about it by definition. This thing's going deep if I miss. By definition, it's for what you're yeah, doing. But it's only exposing an inch of blade. If we do something that's a four inch blade. Yeah. yeah well, that's true. Someone could Someone easily could get very out. hurt. Oh, some shirts? Hell yeah. They got it right, too. Extra large. These guys know what they're doing. And we got a banner. A couple big stickers, too. So We got to put some on the Crown Vic, too, because the head's reported by Frankenstein on the Vic. And those things rip. Let me tell you what. They rip more than the bottom end can take. They, they'll rip your bottom end, too. In a, in the bad way, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, this came from overseas. Badget Custom Emblems and Decals. Oh, from Australia. Dear Bald Eagle Factory Crew, <laughs> just like to give a huge shout out to you guys for providing some quality content, entertainment, and a big congrats for your achievements with Leroy so far. Can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. I run a small home business over here in Australia called Badget Custom Emblems and Decals. I specialize in making custom badges. And as a show of appreciation for your hard work and continuously entertaining me during my long days at work, I have included this here care package of freedom. This is his 96 Nissan Skyline R33 GTR. Damn. Thing definitely rips. Oh, they're labeled for each one of us. Oh, Holly. Wait, is there a Holly one? No. Oh. I just like to get her oh. excited. <laughs> oh, this one's labeled for freedom. Neighbor, the freedom machine. There we go. That Ready is to sick. stick on. Ooh, look at that. LS 240SX spray and pray. That is sick. The red's all raised and everything. Yeah. And then the black's inlaid into the white. This one says Cleater on it. Cleater. Leroy the Savage. That is sick, dude. Look at that. I'm sick. That's not coming off, dude. He, <laughs> he built it for speed. Oh, I love it. Dirty feet. <laughs> that is sick, dude. Check that out. All right, and this one says for everybody at the Bald Eagle factory. Yeah, do it for Dale. Oh, there's a few of them. Go on. Oh, yes. Got... <laughs> couple in there. Yeah, there's three of each. All right, so thank you to Reese Murphy at Custom Emblems and Decals in Australia. Very cool. All right, this one, we kind of, we have a pretty good idea of what it might be, but we've been very curious. I hope it's something completely different. <laughs> it might be. It was just good packaging. Ooh. Can you use that in the El <clears throat> Dude, this thing is sick. That's yeah, like a CNC wheel. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a classic hot router wheel right there. Dude, that's, that's sweet. A, it's a billet light wheel. You gotta feel how light it yeah, is. it's all aluminum. Two Cletus, I'm not sure who I'm supposed to address this letter to. I'm a single mother of three that sells LED lights on eBay. I recently built a website with the help of my family and I'm trying to build a brand on social media. My business has been struggling the past years, so my brother who loves to race and has built his own brand of products told me to start selling his lightweight steering wheels on eBay to help me generate more income. I didn't realize people do this and admire what you have done and what you are doing. I would forever be grateful if you could help me in any way. I promise to pay it forward. Well, shoot. We'd love to help you in any way. Okay, so her eBay user is LEDs on deck, all one, and her website is motolightkits.com. That is awesome. I'm writing this letter in hopes of it becoming a reality. Thank you again just for taking the time to read this. Again, that's motolightkits.com. Sincerely, Tabitha Weldon. P.S. I forgot to mention the wheel only weighs 1.4 pounds. Wow, that thing is so light. Is it? That would be so sick for the El Camino. Yeah, 1.4 pounds. Yeah, maybe we'll use it on the El Camino. It's got like all these holes on here for like different brackets. No matter what it's Different brackets holes. and buttons. Yeah. And I'll see you so tomorrow you then. James, you're leaving? Yep. Got yeah. my six badges. Yeah, it uh -huh. takes his badges and leaves Cooper yeah. and I to do the yeah. fan mail. We're going to get something cool and not share. Yeah, and just so everybody knows, James does work here. <laughs> like, I saw some people comment the other day, like, James did. Does James even work for them? Like, yes, he works here. Do you think he just spends his free time at the shop all the time? <laughs> it's just always free time. It's, no, he is paid to work on the vehicles. Ooh. James has left at the worst time. I think this is nitrous. Yeah, it's definitely part. a nitrous rapid fire module. Cletus and friends, first off, love the content. Second, I've noticed that James and Cooper tend to purge way too much nitrous when they're about to stage and let her rip tater chip. So I'm sending 
One of them, the Zex Rapid Fire Module, please let them wrestle, thumb wrestle, arm wrestle, or play rock, paper, scissors to see whose car it goes on. Or let Holly the dog decide which one gets it. She'll definitely pick you because you feed her. And this is from Big Ed in Pocahontas, Arkansas. Please give a shout out to George Ray's Drag Strip in Paragold, Arkansas. All right, well, cool. Dang. I guess since James is gone, this is for you. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Let's see if I can put it to use. Yeah, I do like what I see. These American flag socks. Oh, they're Bald, bald eagle. eagle socks. Bald Eagle American yes. flag. Well, I love it. We get the best fan mail. The most the most usable fan mail right there. To Cletus and Cooper, my name is Ryan. I'm from Brainerd, Minnesota. I have been watching the channel since almost the very beginning. I've never been a fan of GM, but after watching your channel and your build, I'm starting to rethink some things. I recently sold my Mazda for funds to purchase a C5 or a C6. Hell yeah, brother. He lives out by Brainerd Raceway, and that's where they do power crews, which is kind of like an Australian event. Like, they do huge power skids things like that. He gave us some information on that and saying maybe we should come out there next year. Hope to see you next summer and congratulations on the 782. Thank you to Ryan, Cameron, and Lloyd. They say let it rip, tater chip. Hell yeah. What do we got here? Oh, be careful. T-shirts in here. About the T-shirts. Tree of life. Ooh. Alright, got some cool shirts in there. Shred tires. Shred tires. I do want to point out you're not allowed to use a screenshot of this for promotion on your website. Already doing you a favor. Please don't put me on your website homepage holding a t-shirt. I do love you guys, but things have gotten out of hand in the past fan mail videos, so just take the in-video promoting as enough. Hey Cletus, big fan of the channel. I've been a subscriber for a while now, probably around the 250k mark. Since you love drag racing and doing burnouts, I figured I would send you some shirts. My best friend and I came up with these for our YouTube channel. SNR Motoring, hope you like them. That's awesome. Got them for our YouTube channel. I love that. Sincerely, Scott Jelinek. Here are our social media sites YouTube, SNR Motoring, Facebook, Scott and Randall Motoring, Instagram, SNR Motoring. They got their own stickers too. Pretty Turbos. Sick. Hell yeah. Let's do this LMR box. LMR sends us a box, right? Where's under that? here? And I want to do this big box too. Right, let's do this big one. This is, this is an exciting one. The big box. This one's getting, been here for a few days too. The big box is getting me excited because who knows what could be in it. It could be a, another golden retriever. Hope you and the crew enjoy some gifts. Thank you for the awesome channel. You show us the true day to day and that's what I like. Good or bad, it's all shown. Hope you can make it to Bristol, Tennessee sometime for an event. Well dang, Chris Wall Willem, Johnson City, Tennessee. Shout out to Steve Hinkle and Amanda Wilhelm, his wife who also watches your channel. Awesome. Some sort of oh, costume. Oh. It's blow Damn. up too. Damn. Dude, Holly be so scared of this thing. Oh, she'd be terrified. Oh, that is sick. Giant bald eagle inflatable costume. When I'm working on Leroy, when we put the trans in, I'll have to put it Maybe in. a PRI. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They'd probably boot me out. Oh, look at this. Wait, can we open Oh, there's oh, a mountain drool. Hey, yeah, mountain drool, Holly. Holly has many mountain jewels now. <laughs> They're still in that gel right there. Perfect. A fresh one, Holly. Damn. Dale Earnhardt. Freestyle race cart with a driver. Damn. That is pretty sick. Look at the back. We will add this to our Dale Earnhardt collection. That is pretty sick. All right, well, big thank you to Chris Willem. That's pretty freaking sweet. Here's the LMR box. Hopefully it's not some sort of call out. This is like a race shop. If you guys didn't know that. <laughs> they build Corvettes. They actually have a C7 with an automatic in it that just went real fast. 750s. 755. It's a packing slip. What incarnation is this? This is 5x7 JLT power stack. <laughs> it's a new filter for the crown pick. <laughs> what? It's definitely a filter. It? It's definitely a filter. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no! It can't be. Oh, it definitely is. I don't think I ordered anything from them. That's the only thing I can think of. I, I, think, I don't think you did. I think they just sent it. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm kind of guessing that. 
They just saw it and were disgusted. Always being reckless. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely for the crown big. I don't know. Guys, like this video if you want us to use that. We might have to run it. Because the old engine's gone now. It's not the same. It's, you know, it's a different bottom end. So maybe it's time for a new beginning. Yeah. It's really nice, too. Look at how, like, it curves and stuff. Fresh filters. I'll put it in my car if you're not interested. <laughs> might have to. You might have to. All right, let's keep going. We have a, probably, like, ten more boxes. I know. I've been filming for 65 minutes. <laughs> it says 33 on it. <laughs> I like to exaggerate. <laughs> I've been ed by this time I've probably been editing for two hours. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! I've been watching you guys since the beginning, and it's been awesome. My fiance and I love seeing you guys live the dream. Unfortunately, the weather has been horrible this year up in the Northeast, so we haven't gotten to race basically at all. So seeing you go sevens was the next best thing. Anyway, we're on vacation in OBX and saw this. We had to get it for you. Keep up the shenanigans. Do it for Dale. Jamie and Emily. Their Instagram is at two underscore many underscore toys with a Z. Hell yeah, fellow Northeaster. Some sort of canned food. Canned bald eagle? What? It looks light. Is it really light? Oh, it's a canned critter. Probably unscrews. No, you open it. Oh, so it's probably... It says, it says beware. Be careful. Only with adult supervision. Jeremy! Holly, watch us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay! Look at that! Oh. A canned bald eagle. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Holly, look. It's a canned bald eagle. You want it? Looks <laughs> like I'll take it. <laughs> Yeah, you go lay down. She doesn't really damage toys, guys, so don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. She, she just holds them. Want to get some Panda Express after this? I could do that. Sweet. All right. Looks like we might have some stickers in here. Yeah. What's that? A bracelet. Hold on. Tear that thing open. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> working on it. She's so suspenseful. I eat dips for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> That's so funny. We almost need to just put that on Leroy just as a joke. That's epic. I love our fans, dude. They come up with the funniest stuff. As a member of the V1 community, I, I also... <laughs> the if the V had a stock dip, we could have put that on. All right, that's from Brad Handy. That's epic. From Pneumatic Tool... Astro Pneumatic Tool Company. That's, that's no nice. No way! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That is so valuable at a shop. Flashlights for the shop! The magnet ones with the swivel and everything. Wow. This is amazing! Look at that. Ooh. Wow. Wait, how do I do the front light? Oh. Look at that. So convenient. Oh, and a tip light on it. And it has a battery thing on the side. That's way nicer than the one we have in our trailer. Dude, that's sick. Dude, they got mini ones, a couple mini ones, and then a bunch of the big ones. That's amazing. Dude, that's so cool. What a usable gift for the fan mail, guys. Major shout out to Julie Snow from the Astro Pneumatic Tool Company. Let's see what's down there, you know, down the in the Magnets right here. Ooh, magnets right there. And on the bottom. Yeah, I saw this one's got the magnet on the end, you can thunk. Is this one bright? It's pretty bright. Yeah. So many flashlights. <laughs> Ooh. That one's right from Amazon. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a floating bald eagle cup holder. Oh, a drink raft. There's screaming eagle drink rafts. I didn't even know this was a thing, a drink raft. Won't tip over. Three of them. Wow. Look at that. That says a gift for you. Oh. So there's no name. Well, shout out to whoever got us the drink wraps. Anonymous. It's a pretty legendary gift. Five more things, because we got those boxes over there. Is this a poncho? To Cletus McFarlane, congrats getting into the sevens. Look at that. And closed is your reward. Keep doing it for Dale. He'd be proud. Amelia and Davis Mochetta from New Milford, New Jersey. P.S.F. Mustangs. Dang, what do we got here? 
says our first attempt to send spent fourteen dollars and husband insists we still send you he looked at old video for address so hopefully you don't throw this out no we got it we got it <laughs> tell me this is what I think it is oh it is dude yes oh wow that's sick hold up man Dale got all the cool merch back dude, in the day Dale had the best merch Woo! Look at that! That's amazing! Wow, dude. The best fan mail. Well, big thank you to Amelia and Davis Mochetta from New Milford, New Jersey. That's pretty hilarious. Alright. Oop. I see Ed. Do it for Ed, I think, is what we're getting here. Hell yeah, brother. Do it for Ed. That's a good one. That's sick. Nice. It's in white too, so it'll show up good on the back window. No notes from that one. Shout out to whoever was doing it for Ed. Send in a sticker for us. Oh, I knew we were going to get something for Holly today. She already got some oh, Mountain shoot. Drool. She already got the Mountain Drool. Ooh, some begging strips. Oh. These are good ones. This is a good brand. Purina. I dig it. Alrighty, so we got an Eagle Air Freshener. That's pretty amazing. Oh wow, it's got refillable scent chips. The Sli bobblehead too. Scent chip slides into base slot. Oh, and then you put it on your dash. Oh, that's awesome. All right, we got a note. Looks like it's here from MGM's Workshop YouTube channel. Cletus, what's more American than an Eagle? How about an Eagle bobblehead air freshener? It's pretty American. Figure it would really bobble in one of your cars. I also threw in something for Holly and a few stickers from my channel. My 85 Mercedes Turbo Diesel can eventually get to the quarter mile. Love your channel and your cars. Keep up the good work and can't wait to see the new dip in Leroy and see what he is capable of when you aren't trying to save the dip. Keep doing it for Dale. Michael Moore from MJM's Workshop on YouTube. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you, Michael Moore. This is some cool stuff. Another Amazon Prime box. Wait. Yep, this looks like it was straight from Amazon. Ship Bell. Is this for the dyno? Probably. I think the guy messaged me and said he was sending us a bigger bell. A new Freedom Bell? Oh my gosh, how big of a bell did he get? This thing seems pretty serious. Oh! <laughs> this seems dangerous! <laughs> Look at this thing! Oh, it's got a rope and everything! Wow, this is a real bell. Yeah. Wow, that sounds way more legit. Has a gift label on it, so we will never know who it was, except for maybe in the email. But thank you for the new bell for the dyno. Is this it? Last boxes? Yep. I'm coming in hot. Tear into them. I'm tearing in. This one, we can already tell Ooh. who it's from. Taylor Wiring. They know we've been known to burn up a plug wire. <laughs> they know about our plug wire trauma issues. Look at that. Separates plug wires. Mm. Separator clamps. Oh my gosh, bunch of them. Wow, some t-shirts. Taylor Cable t-shirts. Oh my gosh, dude, these guys hooked the it tool, up. tool, that's sick. This is the crimping tool for mm -hmm. these guys when you put them on the plug wire. More shirts. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it says something on the spool too. What? Look at, dude, look at that. It says Leroy the Sav- Oh, here, here, right here, right here. Leroy the Savage. It says your Full send, time. 782 at 176 mile an hour. I like the green, too. Custom plug wire. Oh my gosh, a full spool of it, too. Okay, the boot end, or the ends for the plugs. Dude, that's some serious wire, too. Yeah. It's thick. It's already got the ceramic ends. Wow. So you just add the... Yeah, damn. Yep. Oh, ceramic 45s. Are you kidding me? In 90s? Dude, this is crazy. Yeah, that's a that's an awesome setup. Holy the, the ceramic crap. are so nice to have. That's only the first box. Another wire set. They're like starter kits. This is with the 135 degree boots. Ooh. All say Leroy the Savage. Damn, dude. We're gonna have plug wires. Four days. I love the green. I like the green too. It's pretty awesome. Oh, a battery box. <laughs> a battery box. A battery relocation box. What? It's pretty heavy though. 
It's like wrapped up. It probably has something in it. Yeah, it's wrapped for protection. I think it's silver. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the dang. rest of the kit. This is a full kit. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the wire that you're gonna want to relocate the battery. <laughs> Yeah. It's a serious wire out there. And then he's got all the ends for that wire. The ground strap to just go to the frame. Dude, this is crazy. Yeah, that's really nice. Battery tie down. That's pretty cool. A full box. Dude, we could use this on the V. Yeah. I'm just saying how you want to relocate your battery. Out of necessity. Well, they basically just set you up with plug wires, cables. A battery relocation box and everything, dude. You're set. Yeah, it's ready to go. All right, guys. One hell of a fan mail video. This always happens. The room is wrecked. It's my fault. The room is wrecked. <laughs> There's awesomeness everywhere. We got Dale Earnhardt stuff. We got a Dale Earnhardt doggo. She does not look pleased. So, we're going to go eat. We'll clean this up tomorrow. Really excited about the build intake for C7. If you're still watching, just know that we love you because you've been watching this video for it's got to be at least half hour video so you're a legend thank you guys happy thanksgiving again lots more action to come this week we just kind of had to get this out of the way you know sometimes some boring content comes with the good content so thanks for watching do it for dale we will freaking see you later